and hello my amazing social media so interesting one today right only because i get asked this question so much and i had to just make a video just simple as um okay so the topic of the video is what's the difference between the different types of hosiery and let me break it down so i believe there are three if not four fourth is a little bit um I'm not too sure, but I'm going to put it in that category anyway. Um, so the three types. So you've got tights, um, which is also known as pantyhose, collants, rajastopi. Um, I'm sure they're the main ones. They're the main ones. If there's any more, obviously I'll put it in the description below, wherever you're going to see this or above, wherever it's going to be. Um, the second type is hold-ups, also known as stay-ups. And there's stockings as well. And stockings are the ones that you wear with a suspender belt. I'll get into all of it in just a second. And then the fourth one, fourth one, this is what I mean. It's a little bit, mm, is it, is it not? So the fourth one I would class as is nylon socks. And they are different to normal socks. Okay. Let me just, let me just say that because everybody thinks it's all the same <laughs> and it's not. So, um, so yeah, so let me get into it. So I'm going to be using most of my own Sony, uh, by Sony Panda brand, but there's a pair of stockings, obviously, because I don't have stockings in my brand. I will be using another pair just to sort of showcase for you. Um, so first things first. First thing I always do, I need to get a bad pouch. First thing I always do is get on hosiery gloves. Um, one, because my nails are long at the moment. Two, because I have a really horrible broken nail. I was going to show you just the one finger and I thought, let's not. Um, I do have a broken nail. And plus, obviously, because I'm wearing rings, it is just, I don't want it to get caught while I'm doing this. So, um, especially when you're working with delicate hosiery, because I've got a couple of eight deniers here, a 15 denier, and the socks are normally about 20. Um, and then the stockings, I think, are about 15 deniers. So we're working with the lower deniers. So I always tend to get gloves on. Um, plus, they're just so nice and soft. I love them. Okay, so first things first, tights. Let's start off with tights. Now, uh, uh, by the way, let me just say, this is going to be a long video. I will try and keep it underneath 10 minutes, and it never happens. So just be prepared. It's a long video, um, and I apologise. So first things first, let's start off with the tights. So I have my black 15 Denia seamless ones and they're a great pair, I love them. I know I'm biased, but I love them. So this is what you call a pair of tights, okay? So they look, okay, so the normal tights, I say normal, because these are seamless, they do look slightly different. The band is quite different, um, but it's still the same type of style, okay? Um, but with other sort of sheer of I should have got a pair from upstairs. Um, I, I don't even have one here to show you. Um, the, the thing with normal tights is they normally tend to be quite straight looking, um, have, could, could have a smaller slash thicker band, have a T band, what I call a T band. So basically it's the band with like a seam going down and reinforcement. Um, so you tend to have a seam at the front and back. Obviously these are seamless. So this is what tights look like. Um, and then obviously you get loads of different colours, different patterns, da da da, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> this is basically what, because I realised, you know what, I can sit here and go through everything, and I realised, you know what, I don't want to keep this video longer than it needs to be, so, um, so yeah, so this is what you kind of work with, and normally tights, um, come with a reinforced toe, there are some that don't come with, with a reinforced toe, that's another thing, um, Another thing with tights as well is it tends to have a cotton gusset in them um, and that normally tends, that's supposed to sit flush against your skin. So technically you don't really need to wear them with underwear, um, but obviously it's just, it's choices, anyone's choice. These, as they're seamless, they don't have the gusset. As you can see, it's literally just all nylon. Normally the gusset would be, oh my God, I realise I've got black gloves, black thingy. So normally the gusset would be in this middle section. Um, so yeah. So most of you obviously will get the gist of it. This is more sort of people for people who are getting into hosiery, who kind of don't know the different types, who keep calling all hosiery socks, which are so annoying. That annoys me, considering the fact that I've worn hosiery for so long and I'm so passionate about it. It's like, please, please, 
let me help you let me help you understand <laughs> so this is what you're working with with a pair of tights if there's anything i'll miss i'll just i'll come back so next is so these are my glow up eight denier ultra sheer hold ups so hold ups also known as stay ups i will tell you why is a great pair um once again um so yes yeah, same with tights as well and with these they tend to be sort of everyday wear um obviously some people wear in the bedroom some people get experimental however you choose but these two types tights and hold ups they tend to be your everyday stockings for some people can be but they potentially like to keep it for bedroom wear so they can work with lingerie it's more of a sexy feel in a sense but i'll get into that in a second so these are hold ups so with hold oh my god this is cool. so with hold ups what you normally tend to see them as two separate legs for one um and not only that what they they tend to have a band like this so there's either floral or it can be plain i do have a play a pair of plain i left them upstairs um or they tend to have a plain band but either way there's a band and literally you either have an eight denier leg 15 20 30 50 100 however many denier you want to go but this is technically what hold ups are looking like a lot of the time they tend to have leg shaping the one thing i always say is the better quality ones have leg like leg shaping in them obviously because i've worn mine it's slightly lost but normally they'll have a little bit of where the curve would be they'll obviously have foot shaping to them um I always find the kind of cheap and cheerful brands they just it's just a straight leg um so yeah yeah I'll, I'll leave it there i won't go into it anymore um another thing what i what i always always tell people is with hold ups right this is the thing so number one they always come right with a seam so that's the seam in the middle and this seam should either be at the back of your thigh or your inner thigh it should never be sitting at the front or on the outer thigh just because if just say if you do have a bit of an upskirt moment like for instance i'm wearing a shorter skirt so if i have an upskirt moment and i'm obviously wearing them the last thing you want to see is where the seams are where where everything just sort of comes together so i always recommend and technically that's kind of how you're supposed to wear them but i deeply recommend either wearing the seams at the back or in the inner thigh and number two is so this is why they're also called stay ups so oh, do you not know realize i'm close up okay here we go make sure i'm not ruining any hose in the process so these come with silicone bands so this is a double silicone band so as you can see there i'm just trying to get the lighting on it so there's there's one that sits right here and then there's one just below it so normally you tend to get double silicone that's kind of standard right so we'll put that here if you want to go extra you get three or four and i've tried and tested some where it is you get three or four silicone bands they tend to have a deeper band or known as welt sorry i forgot to mention so normally people tend to call them bands but it's also known to be a welt and it's literally this floral part right so you can actually have that so this is the standard size you could also have a deep well and the deep well is about so just say if we start in there deep well is about here at least i've had some they're deep as anything like they're gorgeous but it's like it makes your hosiery start a lot lot um further down the leg than where it kind of normally would sit um but i'll talk about placement in just a second so in terms of silicone bands normally two is kind of like the base minimum you get some which have one i don't really trust the one banded ones just purely because if you're going to be in them all day you want something that's kind of secure on your leg not just something that if it starts losing the tackiness because this is supposed to kind of stick to your skin and um, if it starts losing tackiness they are going to fall down they actually are going to fall down and another little mistake that a lot of people kind of do kind of say is you don't need to wear a suspender belt with these. The whole point of hold-ups is they're supposed to hold up on their own in terms of the, you've got the silicone bands. Um, you never really need to wear suspender belts with these. People do, that's cool, but you don't need to. Um, yeah, right, okay, sorry. So placement, I was literally about to go off tangent there. 
So placement, so I normally wear my hold-ups quite high just because I don't like them sitting too low on my leg. I don't mind if I'm wearing like a longer dress or a longer skirt, that's fine. Normally, obviously because I can't get it on because I'm wearing tights anyway. Um, normally, the placement seems to be, oh, just make sure I'm not exposing anything. So normally the placement tends to be about here. But yeah, that's normally where people recommend wearing them. I tend to wear mine like here, if not further up my leg. The further up it can go, I will wear it there. Just because for me, it's more comfortable. I just prefer doing that. There is no right or wrong way in terms of wearing them like that. I just prefer to wear them higher up because I do wear a lot of um, short skirts and short dresses, but I still wanna wear a hold up, so it is finding that balance. But normally it is, yeah, it is supposed to be worn a little bit further down. So that's hold ups. Now stockings, so stockings are amazing. I love stockings. I need to have stockings in my collection at some point. Okay, so I've just got a pair, um, one of my favorites actually, that I haven't worn for a very long time. Now these, okay, so stockings also vary, right? So stocking, stockings are in a world of their own. So these are a vintage pair, reinforced heel toe also known as rht pair which and you kind of know because they're 100 percent nylon so these are like the real deal these are like top tier um you also you also can get stockings that have elasticity in them so it could be 80 percent nylon 20 percent elastane um and it and it varies but they all pretty much have the same kind of concept it's just different styles within that concept so stockings Obviously, I've worn mine, but they tend to have leg shaping in them, once again. So, stockings are pretty much... Oh, such a beautiful pair. <laughs> um, tend to have leg shaping in them. As you can see, a complete foot part like that. And um, obviously, these are a back seam pair. And really, really delicate. Um, and as you can see here, it is completely like sheer see-through. Don't worry, there's a bit of stretch in these, but it is once you stretch out, they don't really go back. So I'm not gonna sit here and go like this with them. Um, so one thing I love about stockings is how they look and how they feel. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now these are something you need to have a suspender belt or a garter belt with. So, and you can get many, many different types. Oh my God, I should have brought them down. Okay, this is what I mean. I'm thinking of everything now. So suspender belts, they can vary. So the standard, what you tend to get is a four clasp. Four clasp is two at the front, two at the back, and you just hook them on. Then you can get six, you can get eight, you can get 10, 14, and it goes so forth. Once you get, once between about 10 plus, they tend to be, they tend to be for bigger bodies. They tend to be for bigger legs. I mean, I love it. I've got a 14 clasp and I love it just because I love the way it looks and it gives me that really retro feel, especially when I'm like styling a retro style, like, oh, it works perfectly. But the common type of suspender belts are between a four clasp and a six clasp. Yeah, eight's not really that common actually. I was gonna put eight in it, eight's not common. Um, so you need to normally wear suspender belts with these. So I'll just show you inside. I mean, there's not much to show, but literally there's no silicone. There's nothing to help hold it up on the legs on its own. Um, and once again, with this as well, you can place these wherever you like on your legs. So normal sizes you can get. So it could be small, medium, large, extra large. Um, with, for instance, with vintage stockings, they tend to go up in numbers. So you get eight, 8.5, nine, 9.5, 10, and so forth. Um, I normally tend to go between a 9 and a 9.5. Nines fit me perfect, but they sit just here on me. So similar to how to where hold up should be sitting. I normally tend to go for a 9.5 if I want to sit them a lot, lot higher. So one of there's a little bit more room in them, a little bit more leeway. Um, and then not only that, I can sit them up further up the leg without it without it tugging, because I've realized when you're wearing suspender belts, you do need to um adjust the clasps on it. So the clasps obviously is what holds the stockings up. Just for people who don't know, I'm not trying to patronize anyone, it's just for people who don't know. So 
they do need to be adjusted. So I tend to, that's what I mean, I normally tend to go for 9.5s just because I have a standard setting that I, that I just use on all my suspender belts. Um, but 9s is, yeah, if I do want to sit them low, and obviously they do need readjusting. So it, once again, it's all personal preference. Um, so yeah, so that's stockings. I'll put that somewhere just safe and it doesn't catch. Okay, number four, nylon socks. Right, so nylon socks are different from normal socks. Only because when you think of normal socks, they're, they're quite cottony or, um, oh my God, what's their composition normally? I'm sorry to say they're mainly cotton um, or something equivalent. You tend to think of a thicker sock when you think of ankle socks, gym socks, trainer socks, that kind of thing. Nylon socks are different. Now, nylon socks are pretty much made of the same materials as tights, hold-ups, stockings. It's just in sock form. Um, oh, once again, I've got a darker colour. I should have done this using lighter colours, I'm sorry. I apologise for that. I got too excited. So, these are my soulmate socks. I love that name. And so I've got these in obviously in blue. And these are 20 denier ones. But as you can see, see how see-through they are? That These are nylon socks. And it, it is pretty much, like I said, they're mainly made of nylon. And they have that stretchiness to them. They're quite see-through. Um, and then not only that, they also do have... Let me, I've got to hold upside down so you can see. But they do also have this band to them which keeps them slightly in place. And I always say slightly in place because one, they, they, they're perfect with me. But I realise for people with slightly bigger feet, they can potentially roll down. Just say if you do sort of set them quite high, they'll naturally just sort of sit where they need to sit. Um, it's just a feedback that I've got. So I'd rather keep it open and honest here. Um, so yeah, so with obviously bigger feet, it does, it'll just, you know what, it'll sit where it needs to sit. Put it that way. Um, so yeah, so you do have this also ankle band to them that helps keep them up. And obviously you get that on most socks anyway, unless you get some pair of like amazing seamless socks. But these are what nylon socks look like. So I tend to obviously class it still underneath hosiery just because they're made of the same kind of composition. So it's, it's, only, it's only right, it's only fair. Um, so yeah, so that's it's just the basics obviously that I want to take you through. And obviously I'm trying to keep this video short. I mean, I'm hoping I don't hit over 20 minutes doing this. But it's just to give you a bit of an insight in terms of what the style like what the different types are and obviously each kind of style has its own styles underneath kind of so you've got hosiery you get the little branches off of your tights hold up stockings nylon socks and then you've got more styles that follow underneath but it is just i hope this video has been helpful um and yeah, and like I said, like I swear by hosiery gloves. Not not even just get my own. I'm not even trying to promote it here like that. It is just they make such a difference in terms of getting your hosiery on, messing around with them like I have today, um, and even taking them off as well. And like I said, especially if you've got long nails or false nails, sharp nails, nails that obviously have got little chips in them or anything or broken, um, or even if you're wearing rings, it really helps just preserve your hosiery and keep them as great as possible um so yeah so i like i said i hope you guys have really enjoyed this video um i hope a lot of you have learned some things in this video and if there are any questions that you have or anything that i might have not covered or you want me to explain a little bit further i'm more more than happy to so literally just drop me a comment um either underneath this video or just obviously dm me and I will obviously respond as and when I can. But for now, take care guys. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.